Hello and welcome to The Long Dark by Hiverland Studios, a game about surviving the great Canadian wilderness, all by yourself. We go straight into the options menu to see what it has to offer. There's not really all too much there, but the quality... it should be fine. And FOV, as long as it's 90, I'm fine with that, but any lower seems to give me a bit of a headache. We start the story mode. I know, according to the early access page, there's really not particularly a story mode in it by default. This is a sandbox simulator at the moment, but we shouldn't be able to die too quickly. I can get all the difficulty options. You're an explorer in equal parts hunter and hunted. The world will not give you anything freely, but you'll find that with time you can master it. Okay, so I'm guessing it's easy, medium and hard. Be fine to start on medium and hopefully not get mauled by a bear. Choose a happy little lumberjack and get straight into it. Ah, Mystery Lake of Coastal Highway. I know we'll play a bit on both and just see which is the most appropriate. Aha, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. One thing I do really love about this game, though, the fact that it's not zombies, it's not this weird post-apocalyptic just wasteland. It's just normal survival in a normal wilderness that most of us would not be able to particularly take part in without, you know, dying in the process. Not many people know how to fight off a bear with a spoon, but I'm guessing that's just a Canadian thing you can always learn about. Trying to figure out what to do. Realistically, I have heard that this game focuses mainly on quick time events. The classic grindy kind of just click a button and wait for it to eventually work, but it shouldn't be too bad. The look of the art style is very, very primitive, and you can see where they've reused a lot of assets along the entire course of the game's construction, but really shouldn't be all too bad. What we've got in that inventory? Ah, so we've got fuel, we've got antibiotics, antiseptic, bandage, basic boots, we've got them. Basic gloves, bed rolls, we can lie down anywhere we possibly please. Cotton long underwear, flares, jeans, thin wool sweater, wooden matches, and then we have our tinder. I'm guessing we won't particularly freeze too quickly, but I'm not too sure how this game really works. I doubt it's really randomly generated at this stage though, as looking behind us it's purposely kind of forced us in the corner so we're forced to move forwards. I think on the bright side, to the mountain behind us, we can probably get our bearings sorted from this. My only worry is, will we get lost for too long? Will we catch hypothermia? All these questions nobody knows. I'm thinking once it gets to night time, will we, just will we be swarmed by wolves? Bears? Deers? Rabid rabbits? Anything could possibly happen, but if we get to high ground first, we can probably look down on the wilderness and try and find a cabin somewhere. Perfect, a cabin somewhere! <laughs> Oh, two cabins somewhere. And a bit of ice in the middle that will probably crack and get us killed quite horribly. Like, I'm not trusting this. I hate ice, I hate cold water. I like I like nice warm showers, nice warm baths. I just generally don't like the cold, that's why I kind of basically mount a radiator every time I enter my bedroom. Ravage deer cock, can get anything out of it? Apparently not. Oh, I used to click on anything. Well, not technically hardwood, a fur burns. Yeah, fair enough. Harvest meat. Ah. Oh, it's got a calorie system too. So we're going to burn too much to survive. We hide under here or anything we can get? No, but we might be able to survive in there if we start a small fire. Anything up there? Anything at all? Apparently not. But I've got to say, the text you work on this is a little bit crummy, but it's still it's still early access. It's still an alpha build. But all can easily be forgiven. I do want to see if you... Oh, just if we kind of fall through this, trying to cross it. Trying to traverse the... Ice and snow, I'm waiting for cracking. Oh, you've got footsteps so we can kind of backtrack. Oh, the trapper's homestead. Is the trapper, does he have a rifle? Does he have any traps, really, to help us survive? Well, that's kind of morbid. You've got a graveyard outside, kind of just waiting to be added to. And that's kind of staring you directly in the eye. Warmer and colder. Well done. Thanks for noticing my feelings, game. The second I say I want to survive, you say cold. The second I, want to, I say maybe I'm going to die, you say warmer. Not the ironic, but generally not too friendly, in my honest opinion. Because it's the smallest shack in human history. Could there be anything nice inside here? Oh, that is very nice. Oh, we have a rifle. What have we here? Oh, uh, what do we have here? An old 303 caliber bolt action hunting rifle. We'll bring deer down. Maybe a wolf, but probably not a bear. We have some ammo. That I would really appreciate. We've got soap. We've got anything, really. First aid kit. We've got jerry cans. What's in here? Oh, we've this. got water. Perfect. Antiseptic. And not too much else really left, but I do really want to get into that locker, but we need tools to force it open. We've got a tinder plug, can we start a fire to kind of survive a little bit longer? We've got a hunting knife, that could be fairly useful. 
and a workbench. Okay, his fingers feel numb, so can we light this up? Oh, very nice. So we're kind of choose exactly what we want. So we've got the match, we've got the tin, and we've got the fuel to try and get through this. We're trying to use a cedar firewood, because I think that may burn a little longer. Oh, but it's got a less chance of success. Actually, no. It doesn't burn as long, but uh, that could be quite nice, to be entirely honest. Accelerators. That'll give me a 100% chance of success, so I may use that just in case. And that should be much nicer. Oh, fire starting skill. There's actually skills in this game. So how do we work this out? Like, how do we get to the skill menu? Ah, very nice. Equipment, forage, wood, log, repair, harvest, bed roll, start fire. Well done. I've survived for one hour, five minutes. I feel a bit successful and a little bit lonely at the fact that I kind of have to survive probably another thousand if I really want to survive in here. Ah, oh, so with the condition to only stand close to the fire. And it's slowly moving down. Speaking of repair, start fire, forage, but what can we do? Start the fire, but we do need to go out and get more materials and return home. I'm glad we don't have to try and make a home outside of this building, or we probably won't survive in the meantime. Oh, that's really nice. It feels like 19 centigrade. Body temperature is at 23, so we kind of need to reach that before we feel too healthy. Air temperature 14, wind chill 0. Clothing warming bonus, plus 5, and clothing wind chill bonus, plus, yeah, plus 3. So with that all taken into account, the wind chill outside will probably make us kind of cool down at too fast a rate, kind of forcing us to not particularly survive all too long. And we can forage for tinder. Very nice. We can't really do that in the middle of a stove. Maybe best just kind of staying here for a small bit of time. Try and learn how to use that rifle. Get it out. Where is it? Five bullets that can kind of defend us. We've got a hunting knife and hunting rifle. But I do have the knife now to go outside and kind of pull apart that carcass if I really want to. Get the rifle out. Do I have to reload it? Oh, you have to reload it piece by piece. I must say, I really like the art style. It's very... Like paper craft. It's like this entire thing is just made out of kind of basically just pieces of paper, which is like a comic book. I really like it. It's just with an art style like this, I can't imagine being murdered horribly. Although I will still probably be murdered horribly. We just take for the clothes and hope for the best. Well, Dave, that probably wouldn't be the best possible option. But what if these get uh, wet? We fall into the lake. Does it mean these clothes will become entirely worthless? So in depth, it's just this is amazing. Well, how can antiseptic be at 42% condition? It's just it's, it's a bottle, it's either a bottle of it or it's not a bottle of it. And the bedroll. Can we lie down on the bed, make the best of this? Well, if we rest here, we should be able to get a bit warmer, make the most of that. Or just that nice bit of fire in the corner. And not too bad at all, even fast forwards you through that part. So now we've got no more of that good old rocket of fire, the fire to keep us warm, we shouldn't probably be in here. With the rifle equipped, if we run outside, we can hopefully have a look at this. There's what you think here. Handy. Oh, it's a newspaper, we can burn it. Could be very nice. Wood matches, even take them. Blairs, worst case scenario, I can just kind of lie, I can either just do anything really. Can I use that to kind of ward away the wildlife? Or on the other hand, can I use that for heating? If we've got the rifle out. We should be able to move back outside and explore and hopefully not get lost. Have we got a compass? If we had a compass, I would probably appreciate it, but more than appreciating that, I should probably get myself a bit of food. Uh, there's no food in that house, I don't believe, so if we go back to that carcass, we should be able to cut it up and try and get a bit of meat out of it. If we can try and use a log burner to try and cook that, it shouldn't be all too shabby. Although now the wind's kind of got up, it's going to make it a bit more awkward. Right, inventory, where is it? Oh, the wind chill's minus 16. Christ, that's awful. I do kind of still want to survive after this, so if we move towards the log cabin again, we should hopefully find that carcass that has not been devoured by the wildlife. Will this work here? Okay, it may be frozen, but... Can I use a hunting knife? Ah! A kilogram of meat? That won't be too bad at all. The only issue is, hosting this meat will it attract wildlife. And since it's frozen, what am I really going to do about it? That's probably apparently some frozen itself. That's one issue with the game, if it really wants to be kind of cute to the whole survival instinct. But I can see myself getting lost or kind of falling through the ice eventually, so it's not going to be too useful. But the graveyard there still staring us in the face as if it kind of wants us to be part of it, but at the same time I don't particularly want to be dead. 
We've got nice music playing in the background now. It's like, we just don't want to kill you. We just want to maim you slightly so you can appreciate this land for much longer than you really should. And what's that? Oh, we've got a can of coffee. Nobody needs it. That could be very nice. Using that can, I could do a lot with it. Ah, oh, kerosene for the lighting. Or the fuels and the explosions. Okay, I may start the fire just so I can kind of just cook up that meat and make the most of this. Got a bit of kerosene, so we'll light that up. I really wish previously I'd actually kind of gone out with a hunting knife and kind of got this all sorted out first. And food, if we cook that. Oh, we can melt snow in here too, that could be perfect. And then boil the water. That's absolutely phenomenal, the thought of everything. The fire is basically the most important thing for survival. I never really noticed how important until I tried to play this game. They realise that you kind of melt down the snow, you can use it to... Now boil the water, ensure that there's nothing particularly bad in it, there's no bacteria, and you can still cook food on it as well as use it for warmth. Basically, without the fire, you can't really do much in life, can you? Especially when it's so cold outside. And tin of coffee, why would I want to... Why would I want to cook coffee? Just want to do it anyway. See, this being a horrible, horrible idea. Cup of coffee, somehow boiling coffee beans has just kind of given us... An entire cup of coffee. We created a cup of coffee out of nothing. As in just the entire mug itself kind of morphed out of the world around us. If we pick it up, we can probably use that for the... I'd probably say not for the calories. I would personally probably use that for heating if we get kind of a bit too cold outside. And the tin food on the shelf there is probably going to be a bit more use if we leave it for later. But on the other side, let's have a quick look at our statistics. Okay, hunger and thirst, we do need to try and get something to eat at this rate, so... Where is it? Come on. Equipment! Venison? If it's dry meat, we'll need more water. That might be a bit awkward. If there's a can of food on the shelf, it might have water in it. Got calories? Come on, we don't have to get fat. We don't want that. Not this rate. And now we need water more than anything. Come on, we can pick it up without shooting it. I think we're just accidentally going to shoot it with a rifle and... Kind of ruin the entire world around us, it won't particularly be too useful. And beef jerky, perfect. What can we build on this? Ah, deer skin, fishing tackle, hook, line, rabbit skin, mitt, snare, or wolf skin coat. I see we will probably need one of them eventually. Or to use hunting knife, the only issue is we kind of need, well, wolf pals to begin with. Without that we can't really do, well, really do too much, can we? I'm guessing it's braving the outdoors again, but I don't particularly want to leave this far unless we've got the most out of it. How long's left in there? 30 minutes. You might as well try and cook the rest of everything else in here. We cook this, make the most of it. Instantly drink it, try and get a bit of water out of it. Although I think I've kind of ruined the entire kind of fire principle and used up every single bit of tinder I possibly had. Which could be slightly awkward in the long term. Ooh. I wonder if this is actually a mini game. Waiting for the click. Apparently not getting the click, I'll leave that for later so we don't kind of starve to death. Anything in the drawer? Aha, very nice. Scrap metal, what can I do with that? I could probably make a snare out of that. Why did realize it was so intuitive? The container's everywhere. I know the entire art style, it might be a bit basic, but it's so nice. It's like a just a small little cartoon. It's kind of indie, kind of to the bones. Aha, I can kind of use it to start a fire again. I can use them for firewood too. Antiseptic? Bandages? Soap? I, I need the soap, please, I need the soap. The first is getting to be quite an issue, so where is a bit of water? I drink that? Will it refresh my, my entire character? Will I feel more alive? Did I really drink the entire thing? But then again, that's only a quarter of a litre, so they're not really going to do too much, will it? Look at the options. Okay, if we go out and get some snow, will it make us a little, just a little bit better at survival?